So here's one for Baz or Simon of the Blake family as he's commonly known over there in Norfolk. There's this Muppet here delivering what looks like quite a, uh, a new vehicle and he's just sat there lights on jutting out into the road he's already caused a hazard to an articulated lorry just sat there and there are parking spaces right there when the muppets just sat there just causing a hazard to traffic probably playing with his radio i know maybe finding his favorite podcast no hazards on What a Muppet. There's a pigeon here who's not long for this world. Just sat there in the middle of the road. Absolutely no survival instinct whatsoever. So here comes someone now. Oh. So, those of you who, for some reason, believe in global warming and you decided to uh, get your car powered by a very inefficient coal-fired power station and very inefficient hundreds of miles of pylon cables, you thought, oh yeah, you just charge up here. Tough. Very nice, and just in time for my call from the Dole office in one minute. That would make a very relaxing watercolour. And that... This is the ruggedly spectacular harbour front at Saltcoats on the west coast of North Ayrshire in south western Scotland. And I've just noticed there's an Aldi and an Iceland right there. Unfortunately, the 4G here isn't quite strong enough even for me to listen to a, a David Icke interview on BitChute. Well, say interview. Really, you've got to let the man do the talking because he's the one who's been doing the most thorough research on the enemy for the past 30 years. And 80% oh, of people, we're talking grown men, educated men and women, have no idea that there is an enemy or that we're in a war and that we're being targeted. No idea. They just let... Oh, in 150 I, yards, not, turn right towards the braes. Not even going to go into it. So I think my chat with the Dole office went well because I told them uh, that my skills were becoming more out of date the longer I was out of work and they might be able to set me up with an online correspondence course, which would be nice if it happens. Mm. Oh, wow. 
that's beautiful. A house with no windows, no doors, but a stunning view. The roof looks good. <laughs> it appears to be right under a cold front now. It's sunny to the east, but to the west, it's a very different story. And you can see the sky reflected in the sea. I've been able to smell those two there, smoking some rather strong grass from all the way over in Iceland. Not the country, <laughs> the frozen food shop. Mm. Nice turret. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> if you need to be told that, <laughs> you really shouldn't be driving a vehicle. Hmm. <laughs> That's the sort of thing the SLR tripod crowd like to film, isn't it? Because it's uh, it's just too easy, really. Uh. You also have to be told not to park there. I mean, really, yeah, beautiful architecture, mmm, mmm, oh yeah. Excellent, a nice sunny day, charged up my power pack and my leisure batteries. Take the next left onto B784.
Swimmet, the promenade in Largs. Now it does have a Gaelic name, but damned if I'm going to pronounce that. So that ferry is heading to the very small island of Great Cumbrae, and beyond that, and beyond that, is Butte. Del N <clears throat> wrote to me four hours ago with the va oh, hello wrote to me four hours ago with the vague question where are you and after a bit of toing and froing it turns out that at the moment he asked I was passing through his town and if he had said, I'm in Kilmarnock, I would have stopped right there and there and gone and met him. But instead, I carried on up uh, up the west coast. And uh, I'm on my way to Loch Lomond now to meet Tam Spoon. So, tough, Del <laughs> All right, I'm going to put another post up because I have a feeling that a lot of people don't know I'm in Scotland. So, uh no, no, I'm not. Just leave it as it is. I'll be people that are paying attention. I get to visit. <laughs> no, that's enough for the time I got.